Hello everybody. In this video, I will just show you some uh, some upgraded uh, conductive ink, uh, which can withstand really high temperature. So this ink can withstand uh, over 1000 degrees C. Uh, and yeah, it's ideal for some heating applications. But I get some problems when I make the heaters uh, because I make this video several weeks and yeah this was my first uh, prototype heater based on this ink uh, and yeah I painted this ink on this ceramic plate and when I apply uh, high temperature uh, the ceramic cracks really really easily so I need to replace the ceramic with some material which can withstand really high heat and yeah also this paint is really tough to get down when you apply this ink on some surface and you wait that this ink will be uh, fully dry uh, you will get a really hard time to get off. So basically this ink is water-based ink. Uh, and I also have some problems to get the right resistance. Because this ink is really, really conductive. Um, and I make new prototypes of these heaters and yeah when I apply a really tiny coating on this prototype heater uh, the resistance I mean the conductivity was uh, really really good uh, but the resistance uh, between the aluminum strips was too low so my aiming uh, aiming resistance between uh, aluminum strips uh, is around uh, 100 ohms to 50 ohms but uh, when i make really tiny coating on this one i get below uh, 10 ohms so i need to make a new one which is here uh, this one have uh, 20, uh, 25 ohms between aluminum strips. But anyway, I will test this heater uh, to see what I can get out of this one. So the base material of this one is this. So this one I replace with the ceramic. Um, this material is some sort of uh, how to say some glass fiber material and this material you can find in microwave uh, also you get this material in some electric heaters uh, but yeah this material can withstand higher higher heat uh, also the drying time is a little bit long because uh, like I said this ink is water-based ink and you need some time that this ink will be fully dry if this ink is not fully dry you get a little bit of bubbles so this is my prototype heater uh, based on this conductive ink and yeah I will connect this heater uh, to the Wariac uh, and I will apply some AC current so here I have my wire rack, right now it's set on zero volts and here I have connected uh, this prototype heater. Uh, first of all, um, I need to replace the battery, right now I get 13 uh, degrees C and let's see 
and now 20 volts and the temperature is rising Thirty-two in a couple of seconds and around 20 volts Sixty-five, seventy-six, eighty-three, eighty-nine. So I paint this surface with my hand, so the coating is not uh, the same everywhere. 100 100 uh, degrees C on 30 volts AC current let's see what we got uh, we have almost 300 degrees C uh, so the voltage right now is 40 volts uh, DC I apply the voltage step by step uh, because uh, I want to see what will happen uh, to this prototype heater. If I apply 230 volts uh, AC current immediately uh, on this heater, uh, the temperature will be uh, really, really high in a couple of seconds. But this way, I apply the voltage step by step to see what happens to the heater uh, and now I will increase the voltage and yeah I get over 300 volts Three hundred. Uh, 69 and yeah I'm out of range and yeah you can feel uh, the heat also uh, with this a high temperature conductive ink I will coat this one uh, these are some kind of fibers you see this one is not conductive but also this stuff will not burn uh, so this stuff is in basic in use for uh, welding uh, welding pads something like this uh, so the plan is I will coat uh, these fibers with uh, conductive ink uh, and on each side I will connect some aluminium piece to make some electrode and I will see what I will get
okay and now I need to leave it that this one will be dry then I will connect some aluminium pieces on each side and I will see what I will get uh, some basic uh, this heater is finished so I already test this with the blowtorch uh, and yeah I can repeat Okay, this actually can burn. Oh, okay, this is something new. Uh, I was thinking that this these fibers will not burn, but actually, yeah. So, guys, actually, here I have this another prototype heater but this heater um, was not really good because I use these uh, fibers uh, which are used uh, for welding but you see so I will say I made really bad heater but I also make some proof of concept for this uh, high temperature conductive ink. Oh, it's hot. I, I'm right now on 50 uh, volts. Whew. And also the aluminium starts to melting. Yeah. Yeah, actually the aluminium it's starting to melt. Oh, it's hot. It's really, really hot. Okay, guys, yeah, enough with playing with the fire. Uh, Okay, this was proof of concept uh, for this high temperature uh, conductive ink. And you can use this conductive ink in any, uh, how to say, uh, high temperature heating applications. We also upgraded our uh, other conductive inks uh, to make more conductive and to make a really good performance. That's it, really, really good conductive ink, but again, uh, really bad made heater. So guys, that's it for now and we see us in the next video. Bye.